Okay, another question, and this one is from Carrie. And Carrie writes, what do you do when you're invited to someone's home for lunch or dinner? My in-laws are having us over for dinner this coming weekend, and I don't want my mother-in-law to change her menu for me. Why not? I want to be gracious, but I also want to completely, I don't want to completely go against my plan. What do I do? Well, Carrie, I don't want you to go against your plan either, and I do want you to be a gracious guest. With that said, these are your in-laws. Maybe you could call ahead and just say, hey, do you know what? I've kind of changed my eating plan a little. I'd like to know what the menu is. And that way you can hear what you're having and maybe plan ahead. Just last week, it was my birthday. I had a party at a friend's house. I had a party at my own house. I had a party at my in-law's house. I made it clear I didn't want a cake. Now my mother-in-law insisted that my children would want a birthday cake, so I said go ahead and have one. I blew out the candle and my children and the other guests ate the cake. Um, but when I look at the table, when I'm invited to someone's house, <laughs> that's my phone, I look at what I can have and don't focus on what I can't. For sure there's going to be one thing on that table that you can have. Focus on that. Don't feel deprived over the things that you can't have. And of course, be a gracious guest. Um, even if you need to put it on your food and you know spread it around a little, if that'll help get you through the situation, then do that. But I do think it's okay to let people know that you're on a special eating plan right now. And um, if there's anything that maybe they could provide for you, that would be nice. I don't know, what do y'all think? <laughs>